All right, this is Josh Rubin from EastWestHealing.com. I'm actually in Redondo Beach at the Portofino Hotel for the weekend. It's Friday. I'm taking the uh, Part B or second level course of what's called DNS. It's out of a rehabilitation school in Prague uh, based off of the work of uh, Voider, Lewitt, and Yanda on uh, actually tapping into the central nervous system and reestablishing connection between the brain and the muscles through, through sensory input. It's more of a neuro, neurodevelopmental approach. But I wanted to post something today on pasteurization versus homogenization and milk. The bottom line is whether it's milk, goat milk, raw milk, juice, pasteurization is pasteurization. And what pasteurization is is because um, a lot of companies or humans are so afraid of bacteria, uh, they basically take the milk, take whatever they're, they're producing, and they actually um, heat it to the point that there's no nutrients or nothing, not even good bacteria. It's basically void of anything left in the substance. So all you have is a white substance or a, a juice substance. Then what they do is they enrich it. They put in synthetic vitamins, synthetic nutrients, synthetic enzymes, synthetic bacteria to help supposedly uh, help you digest it. But the interesting thing is a lot of people have lactose intolerance. One of the reasons is they're actually pasteurization intolerant. The other reason is lactose intolerance is actually a symptom of being severely gluten intolerant. And there's many levels of a gluten intolerance. You have villi in your gut that look like this. When you're intolerant to gluten, there's little hairs that stick up off these villi that actually help you digest the enzymes in milk. When you're gluten intolerant, you're eating all grains that cons consist of gluten, which is an amino acid, your villi shrink. So now you don't have these little hairs that release the enzymes to help you digest milk. So now you're lactose intolerant. You'll find if you're lactose intolerant, if you eliminate gluten from your diet in 90 days and you do want to drink milk, if you drink raw milk, goat milk, cow, cow milk, or eat raw cheese, you'll actually be able to handle it. I'm only telling you this from personal experience. Homogenization is basically what they do is they take the milk, and because Americans are so afraid of fat, um, and you'll see in a lot of my posts on my blog, if you look up cholesterol and fat, there's a lot of precursors to every hormone in your body. It's, it's the cell integrity of the cell structure of your body. Your brain is 75% saturated fat. It's a natural anti-inflammatory on and on and on. But anyway, they spray the milk through a screen at 4,000 PSI. If you got hit by a, f a fluid at 4,000 PSI, it would knock you backwards 100 feet, if not put a hole through you. So they separate the milk from the fat by spraying it through the screen at 4,000 PSI, denaturing the substance, number one. At the same time, there's research to show that because of that heat, there's a, a product called xanthane oxidase that is produced. Xanthane oxidase has been linked to um, cardiovascular disease or uh, thickening of the arteries. So the interesting thing is, is milk bad? No, it's the quality of the milk and the right type of milk. Cows, cow milk, the only thing cows were designed to eat is grass. They can only di digest cellulose in their digestive tracts. They have four of them. They can't digest grains, sawdust, feces, dead animals, or genetically modified grains. Um, so your best bet, if you're going to drink any type of milk, is drink raw. Um, goat milk is great because actually goats homogenize milk on their own in their gut. So you're getting a substance that's already homogenized. My question for people is two things. The interesting thing is anytime you take a substance from nature that's, that's whole or uh, is living and you denature it, you, can, you kill it. You basically make what's called a dead food. So it takes more energy from your body to actually break down than it actually gives you. Two, if anyone can show me a 2% cow or a low-fat cow... I'll give you a million dollars. So we're denaturing substances over and over again, and they're actually void of nutrients, and we have all these synthetic and rich substances. That's what enriched means. So it's actually taking an energy away. At the same time, most milk nowadays, if it's pasteurized, is basically just sugar water. It's high in sugar, and there's tons of research to show, some of the research by Dr. Smith in the Paleolithic diet. He showed that milk of any substance, and this is his approach, take it for what it's worth, Basically, basically spikes insulin levels. The second you drink milk, doesn't mean if it's whole milk, raw milk, milk with tons of fat in it, it spikes your insulin levels, which can overproduce androgens. So if you have acne problems, hormone imbalances, milk for you is probably not the best choice. So hopefully at this point you understand the difference between pasteurization and homogenization. They do homogen, uh, pasteurize juices as well. Your best bet is from our approach, if you are sick and ill or have some type of a dysfunction or imbalance, your best bet is to eat living foods or undenatured foods. Um, a lot of people say, well, we can't get raw milk. In California, it's pretty easy. We can. 
people. There's a lot of websites. You can go to my website, eastwesthealing.com. Go to the resource page, and at the bottom, the three farms you can actually have raw milk shipped to you. If you live near a lot of Amish people, Amish people typically sell the milk and get raw milk. Uh, they do test it for bacteria, so it's, it's very healthy. Um, you know, and how many people have actually gotten sick from raw milk versus how many people that you look at are actually ill from drinking regular milk? Why do you think kids love milk so much? It's sugar. Um, so the bottom line is do your research, understand what you're taking in. Um, if you have to travel, if you have to see what's out there to get milk, go get it. It's about health. It's not about um, convenience. Um, if you want to learn more about milk, um, you can read the book Milk, the Untold Story. You can go to the Weston A. Price Foundation. You go to my website and the resource pages. Scroll all the way to the bottom, and you'll see a bunch of highlighted um, uh, topics. You can click on any of those. A couple of them have uh, milk as some of their um, articles. You can also check out our blog at blog.eastwesthealing.com, or feel free to email us, write in, or give us a call to set up a free consult. Hope you enjoyed this post, and uh, have a great day.